Hello, welcome. Hope you're having an amazing day. Today I want to show you how to add a few animations to your uh, website and this is something that is just going to make it more interactive uh, and this is something that it can be done very easy. So as you can see when they click the button it just gives this little bit of a move and then we can also add a effect as you open the site but this will be always there as they try to click the button so it just makes it cool uh, you can do different things and you can play with the code once I'll share it with you right now you'll see it's actually very very easy and if you like it uh, please subscribe send me a message if you have questions or you need help troubleshooting the site so let's get into it so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with a blank page. Now, if you already have a website, you can just add this on top of your site. And we're going to do pretty much everything again from scratch here. So we're going to add a uh, strip right here and I'm just going to extend this. And this can be used for anything. So you don't have to just use it for a smoothie business. Um, but again, it depends on what type of business you have. You can use it for different things and uh, change it as you wish. So we're going to change the background strip. And in this one, we're going to do some uh, smooth color, something a little bit. Oh, we're going to do something like uh, pink just to keep the theme of the strawberry. Uh, so we're going to go here and go edit. Okay, color, I was picking the wrong button. <laughs> so we're gonna go here, gonna go somewhere in the pink area and we can actually do something like this or you can use the one that I was using on the video. So it's that one. Yeah, you can do anything. Uh, for this one, I already have images, but if you don't have them, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own. So we're gonna go here add an image and we're gonna go here on media and we can do a uh, smoothie <clears throat> and you can do different things uh, for this one what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the um, the background so that way we can we can play with it it gives it a little bit of an effect now if you don't want to do that then you can do it a little bit different but once we have our image here, we can go into settings. Uh, we're gonna adjust this. And then we're gonna go right here and then we're gonna do cut out and then add a cut. And we can just refine the cut. And then once he start giving us this option, then we can do something like this. So we're gonna erase complete, completely this and this too. And click apply and then save. And gonna go back again and we're gonna do adjust. We're gonna do cut out. So it removes the whole background. What I like to do is I actually like to use Canva. Uh, and the reason why Canva is their um, background removal, it's much better. Uh, it's more uh, precise and you won't have as many problems as kind of like what we just had right now. And the other thing is you have way more images. So it's worth to, if you're doing a bunch of designs uh, for your clients, or if let's say you're working on something for just your business, you can sign up for Canva just while you build your business. And of course, once you finish, you can always cancel it um, because it's about, I believe 13 or $12 per month. But again, it's well worth it. So we're just gonna have this here. Then I already download a few of uh, the strawberries and images. So all I'm gonna have to do is just bring them to the page. So I'm gonna upload this from my computer. And we're gonna go here. 
on the download and I'm gonna bring all the images that I need so once I have my images here I can just adjust them now for your business it could be a little bit different it doesn't have to be fruits but again you want to make sure they're uh, clear background so they look better and then we're just gonna add this right here to the page and then we can just adjust everything so we can make this one a little smaller this is uh, very so we can add it somewhere and this one too and what you can always do is move things around so it gives it a little bit of an effect that it's like a 3D. So this is something that you wanna play with, uh, with your images. And again, when you have a clear background and the, the quality of the pictures are good, you can do a lot of different things. So we're gonna do something like this. And then I'm gonna put it right there, copy and paste. And then this one we're gonna make a little bigger so it looks like it's closer and then we're gonna copy and paste and this one we're gonna make a little smaller so it looks like it's way far away right there that same thing with the strawberry you can do something like this and then this one as well not right there you can just add it like that and this one if we make it a little bigger it's gonna look like it's closer something like that i'll turn this a little bit and i think we're good now we're just gonna add a uh, text and we're also gonna do a small button and again this is super uh, easy to do once we add the code smoothie you'll see it's not uh, it's not that difficult and I'm gonna show you how you can play with it so yeah you, you can use it for other things we're gonna do this turn into this color and let's make just this a little bigger And we're gonna go here so we can do something like this and we're just gonna add a button so we can do something like this then we're just gonna make sure we make a big button right here and of course you want to change this to uh, order now and we're gonna make sure the button looks way better so we can do something like uh, this is what I did on this one we're gonna do 25 so it's kind of like circle and then we're gonna do this like an orange this is gonna be also orange and the text we're gonna do something a little bit more mm, like that there you go something like that and then on hover we want to make sure the color changes to either pink okay actually let's change it to that one looks better and that's it so we have our design now all we have to do is add the code so this first step that we're gonna do right is design make sure we have all the parts that we need and make sure it looks really good when you see this you're like wow I want to drink this right uh, so that's the whole point of doing a nice design that you attract the user and this is for a smoothie business so once we have this the second step is adding the code so we're gonna go here on the left part and right here uh, we're gonna make sure <clears throat> okay so right here we're gonna make sure that we turn on the developer mode so this is something 
that you need to click in order for you to be able to turn on the developer mode and one thing that's important is if you don't turn this on uh, you're not going to be able to access some of the tools that are already available in the in the platform for Bello. So make sure to turn this on. If yours is already on, don't worry about it. All you have to do is make sure uh, you expand this a little bit. And let me move this guy this way. We're going to delete all this. And all we have to do now is just copy and paste the code that I'm going to give you. And you have access to a link in the description. Uh, make sure you go there and you can access the code uh, on the site. And then once you have the code, all you have to do is copy the code from the site and then just paste it right here. Once you do that, it should look like this. Okay. Now, a lot of the times people are like, hey, I can't access the code. Um, there's something wrong with it. Make sure you have a PDF reader. I usually use that file because it's free and everybody has access to it. So again, if you have a PDF reader, that's how you're going to be able to open those files and then you can just copy and paste the code. Uh, so again, now all we have to do is paste the code right here and now we're going to change the IDs for everything. So as you can see here, it has image 13, 12, so you can either change the ID. So in this image is four. You can copy this and replace it on this one. Or you can change the ID of this image to image 13. Either way is going to work. So it's a total preference. So for example, here, I'm just going to change the name of this uh, image to image 13. And then we can just do something like that. And then this other image right here on the ID, I'm going to have as image 12. And then once I do that, all I need to do is uh, add an image 11. So we're going to do this one right here. And then I have to just change it to 11. And now I'm going to uh, change the text, which is going to be this one. It's text one. So I'm going to change it to actually it was already there. So we don't have to change it um, because it's already text one. I don't have any other text in your case. It might be different because let's say you have already a lot of different items. So you might have already been using the text one for something else. So it's fine. You can just either add a, another uh, name to it and then just replace it on this part right here text one so you gotta replace it for the text id that you have and then you don't have to change anything else here so in this one we're gonna leave it like that now box we will change because now it's a button so this is gonna be order button and this is case sensitive so make sure if you use a capital make sure that you're going to change it here so we add that we're going to copy this and we're going to replace it right here so if we do this right so we can replace this one we also have to replace this one right here uh, and then once we have that then all we have to do is make sure we have selected the button and we're going to go on mouse in so once we do that, if there's a one on yours is because you either added this first, then uh, just delete the one. Make sure it's all clear like this mouse in and nothing else in front of it. But if it has a number one in it, just delete the dash and the one. Uh, again, I hope this is not confusing, but again, just make sure it looks exactly like this one right here on this part. So we're going to add it. And then once we add it right here, we can delete this because we're not going to need it since we already have it right here. So on mouse in, right? So we have everything now it should work. And then we're going to preview. So once I select the button, as you can see, it plays with the items. And then anytime somebody clicks on it, it's going to just expand. So what you can do here is Let's say you want to be able to change things. Just keep this in mind. Target one is the image 13. So 
this one right here which is image 13 target one so if you want to change like the distance how fast it goes and comes back this is target one and then you can change how far it goes uh, on the scale the duration you can do it like six seconds 0.6 seconds something like that uh, you can add this and make it a little longer uh, you can do a shorter so it's faster so make sure uh, if you want to do any of those changes just remember that the target is the same as the image so you can just change anything here for the text is target four so if you want to change how this one behaves all you have to do is make sure to change it here um, and again you can just play with it so for example here i want to do 80 instead of 60 uh, then you can preview what it's going to do and as you can see it just goes a little bit different you can also do like uh different duration so if you want to make a little uh, faster you can also do a little longer so let's preview so we did 800 now so as you can see it just goes a little more uh smooth right so it's very slow compared to the strawberries so you can play with that uh, so if you have questions let me know again i'm going to be sharing the code on the page and then you can hold uh, and have access to it and then just use it but now if you want to take it a little further you can also add an animation to the actual images so you can go here on the animation add something like this customize it make sure like you know you add duration this one we're gonna play with it we're gonna do something like this and then instead of coming on the left we can turn this spin right here and then it's gonna drop from the top so you can do things like that before they even touch the button this is the animation as the page loads so we can always do things like this so make sure to play with it before you uh, completely just add it on a few because you also don't want it to look kind of weird that some have an animation and some don't so we're gonna do that one and then we can just do something like this things so now we can preview and you'll see uh, the animation that came first so we can just go back and do it again and as you can see that's the one we give it but this one will always be there as long as you move the mouse in the button so hopefully this is something that you know makes your site a little bit more uh, live and you know people like it uh, let me know if you need uh, help or you need to troubleshoot anything i'll definitely help you and don't forget to subscribe have a wonderful evening